Okay, hello YouTube. This is Suspicious Observers. Uh, talking about the uh, which planet falls next in a solar system shift that is going on due to a electromagnetic wave given off by the uh, black hole in the center Planet of the universe. We're watching next. As we look at the chart from our new book detailing the changes on Earth, the planets, and nearby stars, we're now firmly focused on our solar system with the ongoing shift. While tracking the various Earth changes, we must now keep a more watchful eye on the larger gas planets in the solar system as the effects of the galactic current sheet creep increasingly inward. Pluto's at that galactic current sheet is that wave of electromagnetic energy from the black hole in the center of the uh, universe that uh, some esoteric societies call the black sun or the central sun. The sphere was supposed to start slowly cooling and collapsing in 1989. Instead, it continued getting hotter and puffier. Its changing magnetism overruled its normal seasons. And upon its major shift, the cooling and collapse of the atmosphere occurred, confirmed last year by incontrovertible means, with the unfathomable loss of 20% in only a couple of years. After Neptune had an impossibility of atmospheric dynamics last year with the superstorm reversal, something that only makes sense in a total reversal of a key system dynamic, it just had its major collapse moment as a magnetic shift. And key system dynamic means the electromagnetic polarity of the solar system we are in. Shift is the best way to explain a global cooling of unbelievable nature, with the magnetic connection to the sun being pounded by protons at the south pole as the lone hotspot on the planet. These major atmospheric shifts and cooling specifically are the earmarks of a magnetic collapse and shift on a planet. We expect this as the galactic current sheet coming from the center overcomes our solar system more and more. Pluto is about here, by the way, in the direction of the galactic center from the inner system. And you can see Jupiter and Saturn, and Neptune is also in this general direction. Looking from above at the solar system diagram from JPL, we have the galactic center about up here. And so Pluto and Neptune should indeed take the center of the sheet first, its magnetic null and reversal point within the thicker sheet. But what's next? Is it Uranus as the next planet in, or is it off to the side enough and waiting with the rest of the solar system? The inner planets move around enough to say that until at least one of the bigger ones goes in similar fashion, the focus does have to be out there. Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus. Every day, Uranus and Jupiter are racing around to the side, but Saturn is still stuck out there in that direction for another five to ten years. The fact that the outer planets are now showing major cooling and collapse of thermal state is big. While we've seen changes on all the planets except Mercury, and on the Sun, and in interplanetary space, those were expected with the arrival of the thicker sheet over the last several decades. The final blow, causing the rapid shift like we saw on Pluto and Neptune, is the major moment that begins the zenith of the disaster. Unless, maybe if you live on Earth, where it may be the dessert of that meal. Now that it's happened on Pluto and Neptune, a similarly unimaginable change on Uranus, Saturn, or Jupiter could be too much for the world to ignore. I can tell you from reading the whole shifts that ever since the is what he's story, talking about. Those professors and NOAA and NASA those planets' focus poles on the the bank, have shifted. Much more concerned than many of you are. They say I should tell you what I keep telling them. Yes, this is scary. But fear is only one possible reaction. A thief of time and focus and of emotional and physical energy. Awareness, preparedness, and eyes open mentality is the appropriate alternative reaction. I'll see you in the morning for the daily update. All right. Safe, and then, as much forgive the panning here, but I'm gonna come over here to um, Marfugel, unfortunately. My apologies for, uh, Utilizing his footage here, but uh, barring doing it myself, and I'm just repeating news. I'm not trying to act like I'm a news anchor. <laughs> that is a news anchor. Basically, they we were prepared to put it to sleep, and of course, nobody wanted to. This was a cow we were going to give away. He's going on about some. 
personal stuff regarding the Marf 